Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits today looking at the last beer I have left from Egia in Egia Borgeri in Norway. This is their Egia Torshammer Barley Wine which is basically a ham of Thor barley wine and uh, yeah it's a big 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 barley wine on 13.2 percent alcohol brewed in the American style it says basically on the back it said that like back in the day Thor would ride on the heavens on his uh, a chariot pulled by billy goats and he would and the, like the the mountains and lands would quake and uh, or sh like something like that and or shake and he would once in a while throw his hammer and conjure lightning and then that uh, that's what they did with this beer like make a crazy immense uh, American style barley wine where they said yeah yeah they will like destroy your taste buds and stuff and yeah, it's pretty cool. They, they they created kind of in the same way they say as Thor created lightning, I guess. But uh, nice looking barley wine. Quite dark actually. It's it probably almost looks black on camera. Just super dark, super dark. Kind of like a maroon red, almost a burgundy red with some some brown notes. Nice little tan head. Not much head, but it's thirteen point. What was it three percent? It's two percent. So it's a huge beer. But let's check out the aroma on this. Mmm. Smells really nice. Uh, maybe not that much American in style. I'm not really picking up any hops. It's got a little bit of just a, like a bitterness, but other than that, I'm picking up a lot of sweet, sugary notes and dates and figs and raisins, almost like in the American or the British style. It does have a little bit of that almost tea leaf quality. Some breadiness, thick, viscous, bready feels in there. Feel in there. Um, a little bit of a spicy character almost like like that in there like almost like a spicy rind sort of sorts a little bit of chocolate definitely like dates fix it's a dry dark fruit it does also have a little bit of an almost vinous quality it smells pretty nice it smells like a fairly balanced barley wine same with nuts and the imperial porter so let's give it a taste cheers guys wow the alcohol is very well hidden on this um it feels like a mix of british and american um, because it does have a really good, decent bitterness, but it has a lot of sweetness too, almost that you'll find in some old ales. Man, I think this barrel age would be awesome. But I'm not tasting the alcohol whatsoever, not even like a heat, it just goes down way too easily, way too dangerous. Mouthfeel is nice, it's full, it's very creamy, and it's got that sticky sugary gloss on your lips. But it's very, very smooth and and like well blended and and such. It's not like there's any particular flavor as in some American style barley wines. Like, like oh, punch in the face, punch in the face. It's like weaved in very nicely together. Like when you first take a sip, sip, what you get is this sweet caramel, brown sugar flavor, dark fruits, raisin, dates, figs, all that good stuff. But then the aftertaste, you get this bitter grapefruit-like flavor from the hops and a bitterness that lingers for a while, which is quite nice. Mmm, yeah. It's, it's, it does have a little bit of tea leaf quality. Let's see if I can see a bottling date on here. Nah, not... We'll see. Nah, I can't see any bottling date on the bottle, but it says something there. So that's a best before date, but it does have that tea leaf kind of quality with the grapefruit and some pine. And actually also, right now in the back aftertaste, I'm picking up that earthy, earthy resiny note. The kind of hoppy flavors um, come forth more and more the more you drink it. But it's really nice. It's really, really good. I really like how well hidden the alcohol is. The sugary notes lends a flavor of almost like a caramelized, kind of dark fruity flavor, like a, almost like a caramelized kind of raisin. You can sometimes get like these raisins sugar coated. It kind of reminds me a little bit of that, uh, which is quite nice. And the sweetness isn't too overpowering because you've got the bitterness and the balance. It's a really nice uh, barley wine. Not the best out there, but it's it's really nice, really tasty. Again, it, they really know how to weave the flavors together at Agia because it was the same experience with Nat's Imperial Porter. There's not a specific flavor that sticks out like that, but it's really well blended. So rating-wise for this one, I'm going straight up 90. It's a really nice barley wine that kind of blends American and English tradition. Uh, good stuff, guys. So definitely let me know what you think of Torshammer barley wine from Agia if you've had it. As always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers, and I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.